And then thinking about what I do on my day to day, there's always an aspect of mentorship. Um, and I think mentorship is important. And I think that touches on another question, but nonetheless, when you think about DEI, it has to um, be unique to each individual of what they might need to gain as you help them move on in their career. In what ways do you think young professionals entering STEM and fields can contribute to DEI efforts at Chalk Research Institute? I think the first thing is paying it forward. Um, I think typically, you know, someone as me who is just starting in my professional career, you don't take the time to think about, you know, people that you can help along the way. I think mentorship is extremely important. And I think a big part of the CRIS program was kind of having that collaboration between not only the mentoring series, but DEI initiatives. So what does DEI look within mentoring? How does that appear? How can you be an inclusive mentor? How can you support your mentee along the way? I think those were key things that I really learned during my time at CHOP. DEI at CHOP has been part of CHOP's main mission for a long time. It's actually what drove me to come to CHOP, recognizing the um, importance of DEI within uh, not only the department that I'm in, but also at the institutional level. When you're so young, you really don't know where you should fit in and how you should be contributing, but there's always a ton of ways to help out. I think that mentorship for the younger generation should always be paramount. No matter what stage of training or um, facultyhood that you're at, um, that's always been a big deal for me and something that I always try to push forward um, no matter where I am. And then just really making sure you're staying grounded in the values that are true and important to you. I think that that continues to what drives me and I think ultimately what will drive uh, a lot of people um, no matter what stage of training you are in. Right now, notably, I'm on the Alliance of Minority Physicians, which is a group of medical students, trainees, and faculty that between uh, Penn and CHOP that really work to foster this environment of diversity and inclusion uh, throughout both institutions. Postdocs, we are unique. We have so much to gain from our experiences. We've come from all different walks of life um, in many parts of the world. And so while we have resource groups like Postdoc Alliance, um, Women's Circle, Postdocs in Diversity that's pioneered through the um, academic outreach and training programs, these groups, while we're getting part of that and we have a voice and we have a set of community, we can then go out and those leaders who are um, within ATOP can now disseminate us to um, working groups that I'm also a part of, like DEI Council, um, um, another working group which is welcoming um, an inclusive environment for faculty. So we can give our feedback, talk about our experience, and then give our ideas of how we can build that inclusive environment moving forward. I also think that we can make larger scale impact as well by sponsoring those who want to and can and should lead the work to do that. Sometimes I think as senior faculty, we're used to always being at the forefront and there's so much more impact we can have if we step back and let others take the lead and be in the forefront of the work.